All right. Hello, everyone. Good evening and welcome to our weekly webinar. I hope you've been having an awesome week so far. Today, we have a powerful topic that's going to help you to get your business up and running or your ministry if you are doing that online. Now, this is a great time of year to be able to make sure that our internet presence is felt and experienced as we close out the year or as we look forward to getting into the new year. We want to welcome again our new students into the Monetize the Skills Academy family. And those of you who may be on the webinar this evening and you don't know about Monetize Your Skills Academy, go to monetizeyourskills.com and enroll and become part of this awesome community. So <clears throat> what are we going to talk about today? Oh, by the way, just want to give a shout out. So today, normally each week or so, I try to wear a different type of t-shirt or do something to help acknowledge some of our students in our community. So this week, I want to be able to represent Faithful Path International Ministries. Uh, this is uh, from someone in our community, Dr. Donna Cooper. And so if you want to support a good cause, go to faithfulpathinternational.org. Uh, they do humanitarian work all, all over the world. Matter of fact, they just came back from Jamaica earlier this year. I went with them personally to Ghana, West Africa, where we provided medical care and services to over 3,000 patients. It was powerful. Last year, they went to Senegal. And so next year, they're also planning to, in the summer, uh, to go to Haiti. So if you want to be able to um, you know, volunteer and go around the world and, and provide for the services, of, you know those who are less fortunate I encourage you to get in touch with Faithful Path International because that's what we are here about right monetize your skills is all about how you can leverage your education expertise and experiences into income so that you can be able to use those extra resources to help other people or to be able to fund and sustain your mission message or cause and that's what we are all about again and all of that is coming from our book monetize your skills all right so Let's delve into it. What are we going to learn about this evening? Today, we're going to talk about the key tools that you need to set up your online business or ministry fast. That's the operative word, fast. How can you get up online and running? So especially for those who have joined within this last quarter, the Monetizing Skills Academy course, you know that you have to pick one of the options that you're going to um, get online. Some of you probably have started already. For those who are still trying to figure out what they're going to do online. This is going to help you this evening. So again, my name is Chance and I help professionals and entrepreneurs and ministry leaders to monetize their skills by turning their education, expertise, and experiences into products, programs, and services online. Because of this, I've also been able to, and this is what I do here, I bring on other people as well who are making six and seven figures, who are experts in their niche, to teach you how to also up-level your skills online especially. So here I am with um, Adam Ginsberg, Internet Millionaire, Dr. Willie Jolly, and Dr. Clarice Fluid. All of these are people in different industries, but they're using their skills, their talents, to be able to monetize them beyond a regular job or the corporate industry. Also, if you are thinking about coaching or speaking or consulting, anything along those lines, this is one of the best communities where we teach you, again, how to create products, books, and courses, and this can open doors for you. If you are a speaker and you're just speaking and you don't have products and programs or services, you're leaving it money on the table. And also, if you are a new author or anything like that, uh, or you are a freelancer, if you create other products, what you can do is now you can also now offer more of your products and services and be able to make more money that way. But I have found um, because of my books, I've now published over 10 books. They help me to get speaking engagement such as this one that you are seeing here where I'm speaking for the uh, National Hispanic Professional Organization, NHPO, in my local community. Now. Before we even go anywhere, you have to decide, okay, what are you going to do online? What are your online site options? When we say online site option, this is your online home, your blog, whatever it is. So you have to pick one of these. So it's either you're going to do blogging, e-commerce, which is, a, you know, your online store. You have a podcast, whether you're doing live streaming or vlogging, uh, coaching, consulting. If you're an artist, whether you're a musician, a, a, an author, a freelancer of any sorts, you need an online presence. You're going to need a website. You're going to need some page on the internet where people can find you. 
Also, if you're a professional, doctor, lawyer, speaker, minister, or anything along those lines, then you need to have an online presence. So you know most of this. And it can be a big website. It can be a small website. It can be one, even one page, right? So we just need to make sure that people can find you on the Internet because we are now open to a global economy. So once you've figured out that you need one of these for whatever it is that you are using for your skills or talents or your services, then you're going to need a name, okay? So again, this might be, you know, entry level for some of us, okay, that's fine. If not, you know, just skip these parts. But for those, we have quite a, we always have new students coming in. I think today we have one person also registered today. So uh, we want to welcome uh, Holly. Holly Forbes, um, you know, joined us today. So we want to say hello to Holly. Now, okay, so you want to get your domain name. This is your website name, right? So this is your URL where people are going to be able to go, for example, monetizeyourskills.com. That's our domain name, strategicsecrets.com, whatever it may be. Your personal name, you want to be able to get that if you're a speaker, a coach, or even an author maybe. And web hosting is where uh, how people access your site. So most of the time, they are one and the same company. So here are a few. There are quite a bit, right? There are many. I just put up these six here for you. So we have Bluehost, Domain.com, HostGator.com, Monster.com, GoDaddy, and Namecheap. There are advantages and disadvantages to each of them, but the point is each of these, actually, you can have the name of your website, and you can buy it through them, and you can also host it uh, through this company. Some people recommend, you know, get your name one place and host in another place for convenience and sake, you know, sometimes it's just good to have it all in one place. But I have I have them in different places. So, for example, let me just talk a little bit about these. Right now, um, GoDaddy is, is, of course, where most people start out. I have bought a domain name with GoDaddy before. I personally don't like GoDaddy. Not, nothing against them. It's up here. If you want to get it to them, that's fine. I just find it to be complicated because I do most of my online stuff by myself. So I like to go with stuff that is easy for me. But you might find others easier. Um, Monster. Uh, domain Monster, I mean. Domain Monster is where I have all of my websites' names. I bought most of them through that. GoDaddy, I had some earlier um, stuff with that. And then um, for other people, I use GoDaddy to buy some stuff for them already because most people know GoDaddy. But Domain Monster is where I personally have. Uh, I bought Monetize Your Skills, Strategic Secrets, uh, what else? My ministry name, all of these different things. I have them on Domain Monster, even my uh, two churches. Uh, we bought our domain name through Domain Monster. But hosting, we do not host on Domain Monster. We host on Bluehost. So all of my sites, every last one of them, right now they are being hosted on Bluehost. I find Bluehost to be very cheap, very cost effective. And I'm going to give you guys a link where you can get, as a student or someone of our community, you can be able to get discount hosting through Bluehost. So Bluehost is awesome. Um, domain.com is, is a fairly new one in my vernacular per se because I've never really used it. But again, it's domain. You're getting a domain. And hey, domain.com. Imagine having a name like that as your website. That's powerful. HostGator is used, is very popular. I have a lot of friends who use HostGator. And um, I like HostGator too. It's very simple. It's also cost effective. And Namecheap. Namecheap is another good site that people recommend. So again, any one of these, really and truly, where you want to get your domain name, you're going to buy your URL, and you get your website name up. If you want to host with the same company, that's fine. Like I said, right now, I have my names on one website, and I have my hosting on a different um, platform. So again, right now, they're on Domain Monster, which I, I'm actually going to try to migrate all of my names over to um, Bluehost. I, can, I think Domain Monster is in Europe, uh, I think. So uh, it's not a big deal, of course, but hey, you know, we all try to save. So what happened is I think every time they renew, I get charged by my bank for a foreign entity. I get charged an extra fee. Not much, but hey, I like them all in one place and in the U.S. preferably. So those are my uh, feedback. Now, what's the two best one? Okay, what's the top two? Out of, you, out of all of these, again, you can type online for many more. These are just, uh, again, how many did, we, did I share here? Six. So if you go online, you will find way, way more. But again, these are the top ones that most people use. But to sift this down, here are the top two that I would recommend. I would recommend either Bluehost or Hostgator. Any one of these, 
I think will be good for us, for our community. And so there are two links here, monetizeskill.com slash bluehost or monetizeskills.com slash hostgator. If you go to any of these, you will be able to get um, a very steep discount because you are a member of our community here. So like I said, right now, and I'm, I'm giving you stuff I use, right? So right now, like I said, all my site, Monetize Your Skills is hosted on Bluehost right now. Uh, Strategic Secrets is hosted on Bluehost. Uh, what else do we have? I think Seven Seas Missions is on there. So that's where I like Bluehost. I can use it. It's easy for me to navigate. You might find HostGator or some other uh, platform to be much easier for you to navigate. Now, so once you get that, now you have a place where your website is going to reside. Now we need to know how we're going to take money, right? So let's talk about payment processing. So these are the payment options. Or even if you have a ministry, you have to be able to take donations, okay? So there are, again, a whole litany of these online, but here are some of the top ones. So I have here nine options for you. You have uh, uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Stripe, Square, PayPal, WePay, Authorized Net, Gumroad. They all have different capabilities and different features and benefits. So you have to figure out which one is for you. So I tell you, some of them, you have to be, it, it, they work better if you're doing a lot of sale volumes, but I just want to keep it simple for our community. For example, Gumroad is where if you want to just sell one off item, let's say you're selling a small ebook, uh, you know, just one item at a time, that might be good. So many people sell their online digital, uh, digital tools and uh, products through Gumroad. But Gumroad, I don't personally use Gumroad, though I'm on there, but I don't sell anything via Gumroad. But I have bought things from Gumroad and I have some people who are starting out online, that's what they use. So uh, all the other ones, like I said, they are very powerful that you can use any of them. They all have, again, their benefits and features. If you go with any of these, trust me, you will be okay. But here are my top two recommendations out of the whole bunch. So again, you have, you have many options. WePay, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Amazon, PayPal, Stripe, Square. These are all good. And so sometimes it's hard to boil them down because I use a few of these. Let me tell you right now from this page before I get to um, uh, my top two. I use Stripe, I use PayPal, I use Square, I've used WePay before, all right? And of course, Amazon. I don't use Amazon Pay, but my products are on Amazon. So, But Amazon is a powerful option for, for some people. Now, here are my top two options to be able to process payment online because obviously, if you're going to sell, whether you're coaching, your books, your courses, uh, clothing, e-commerce stuff, whatever you're doing online, you have to have a payment processor. By the way, your bank also is an option, but I have found that when you're trying to do through a bank, it's very complicated, very complicated trying to get, you know, the, the codes and the APIs and all of that. So just stay away from your personal bank in general. What you can do is any of these payment options, once they collect the money, normally they transfer it to your bank account anyhow. So you're going to kind of have your bank account tied to these, but don't try to go through your bank to normally process the payment because it's I found it to be complicated. I've tried to do it, I think, twice for two nonprofits, and it was, it was a nightmare. So I don't really like to use um, banks. Okay, so let's go on to my top two options for collecting and processing payments or, or donations online. Here are my top two, Stripe and PayPal. I'm currently using both of these. And most of the times when people um, subscribe to Monetize Your Skills uh, Academy or anything like that, generally it's either one or two of these are going to be processing your payments. So let me give you the pros and cons. Uh, well, mainly the pros. So I'm going to go with Stripe first. So Stripe is really, it's fairly new still compared to PayPal. But I love Stripe because it's very simple. Um, the, the rates and fees are great and they transfer to your bank automatically and I think within uh, two days or something like that. But, you know, you get your money to your bank account very quickly, very easily, and you can sign up for free. Like, create an account on Stripe is very, very easy. I had one of my friends who, one of our clients that we worked with, where his, where's his book? Orlando Salinas, uh, we just set him up with Stripe, like, you know, within one of our coaching sessions and it was done like, you know, 
pretty much in less than 10 minutes, you, you know, you are set up and ready to go. So you can collect payment with Stripe. Now, another thing that most people are used to and that's recognizable is PayPal credit. I love PayPal because it has all these options, right? Not only that, but with PayPal credit, the good thing about that is uh, for your higher priced products and programs or services, people can do these six months payments on purchase of, purchases of $999 or more. This is beautiful because most people might not be able to pay for a thousand dollar product, you know, in just one sweep. But if you give them payment options, then that's beautiful. So you will actually find that if you use PayPal, for example, and you give people PayPal credit, for example, as an option, what's going to happen? It will increase your conversions and increase the number of people buying because now they have options. Now, the other good thing about PayPal and PayPal credit in particular is this. Instead of you offering credit or, or extended payments to the person, they are working through PayPal. So they pay PayPal, they owe PayPal, but PayPal pay you all of the money. So what am I talking about? Uh, let's say, for example, you have a a, a $1,000 product, right? You can split up in three payments, right? So you're going to have $330-something uh, per month, over three months. Well, instead of having that money spread out over three months, if you give the person the option of using PayPal, PayPal will give you the entire $1,000 upfront, and that person now will make their payments to PayPal. So you collect your money upfront, you good to go, your full payment is there, and now they deal directly with PayPal. And not only that, but instead of doing three payment options with you, they can do six and uh, with PayPal credit. So this has been an awesome, awesome tool for me. And so I love it. Both of them also have apps that you can use apps, even with Square and others. You have an app that you can put on your phone and process payment. This is great for if you are speaking. And as you can see on the screen here, um, PayPal also has these mobile uh, devices that help you to take payments. So while you are at a conference or at a business seminar, you're speaking, doing a workshop or training, you can have people in the back swiping and being able to process payment that way. So this is beautiful. So I highly recommend, you know, if you don't have PayPal yet or you're not processing with PayPal, that should be a default because to me, really and truly of all of these, PayPal is the easiest to actually set up. Why? I would say because most people already have a PayPal account. So all you got to do is, you know, change it over to a business account and then you, you're able to do so many different things. And so, yeah, you will find also, again, if pretty much any website you go to, well, beside like Amazon and others, most of them give you an option to check out with PayPal. You know, right? if you're using Shopify for your e-commerce store and different things like that, then obviously PayPal is an option with your regular credit card and, and whatnot. So those are my top two recommendations. If you're going to be taking payments online, uh, again, you can do um, you know donations. You can do one-time offers. You can create invoices for these as well, meaning you can bill people. Uh, and so forth. So there are many, many features and benefits. But the good thing about these also, they are free. You don't have to worry about anything. You can get started right now by setting up your free Stripe and PayPal account, and now you're able to collect monies right away. By the way, you don't even have to necessarily have the, um, the online presence, right? Like right now, let's say you wanted to go out and you want to coach or teach somebody something, you can say, hey, you know what? Um, I'll do this with you. We'll talk personally and whatnot. But hey, Go ahead and pay me. Here's my Stripe account or PayPal, whatever. Or you invoice them, like we say, send them an invoice, and they're able to pay that way. How beautiful is that, right? And again, remember too, if you have your phone or your iPad, like I have all my products already listed in PayPal here, and that gives people, you know, if I'm moving around somewhere, somebody say, hey, Chance, I want to buy your book. I could just pull out my phone or my iPad, select the product right there, and have them. <laughs> process payment right away. So this is a wonderful thing. So go ahead and check out those. Uh, again, PayPal, paypal.com, stripe.com, very simple. You go there and I want, that's your action. If you are a member of our community, even if you, you are not online yet, but you plan to do so, your homework before the weekend is out is to set up your PayPal or Stripe payment processing account so you can begin taking payments even now before your website is out. Okay, so let's continue. What else are we going to be able to learn now? This is the crux of the matter. So we started out by talking about you need a domain name, right? You need a place to host your website online. Once you have your name and you have your way of collecting money, 
right? Whether again, because even if you're doing ministry or nonprofit work, you're still gonna have products and services, right? There are people who might have DVDs that you want to sell through your ministry. Excuse me. Got to turn my phone off there. Sorry about that, y'all. Alrighty, so let's continue. So yeah, even if you 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 know you're not doing online stuff yet, you still should go ahead and reserve your domain name for future use, right? Because the thing is, you know, you never know. You might be called to do something amazing, and now you're trying to have the domain name, and guess what? Somebody else is using it. So if you don't plan to use it right now, it's okay. Go ahead and get it. It's a great investment. So you can go again to uh, monetizeyourskill.com slash bluehost or hostgator and go ahead and reserve your domain name. And payment processing, voila, we gave you several. These are the top two I recommend, Stripe and um, PayPal. You can have both of them, by the way. You don't have to be limited, right? You can have several. I also use Square. I use Square. I use PayPal. I use Stripe. For example, when I'm going to workshops, there might be several people on your team who... Uh, you know, who are swiping, so some of them you give them PayPal and some I give them um, Square to be able to use. And Square also has the same swiping things up, you know, uh, mobile swipers that you can use to process payments. So anything. So uh, they're all free. This is what the good thing is. Most of these online, of course, getting the, the, the portable device now, Amazon, I mean, PayPal and, and Square and others are charging for them. But it used to be in the very beginning, you know, you had that thing free from Square and free from um, PayPal to be able to process payments. But hey, they got to make money, right? Now, creating your website and your actual platform. Now, let this is the meat. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is you now actually creating your physical online store or your actual website or your blog. They're all different, okay? So your web, your store or e-commerce store is where you're selling like a lot of small items. Think think like uh, Amazon, like you're selling a lot of whether it's books and clothes and t-shirts, uh, you know, little knickknacks. That's an e-commerce store. If you are uh, a professional, if you're a speaker, a minister, whatever have you, you might just need a regular website. Or some people say blogging is where you know you create contents on a regular. Like you've seen them. So to me, they're technically one of the same, right? But there's overlaps, but we need to also know the difference. So when you say blog slash website, those two are technically synonymous today. So if you are, if you create content, you are in this course. So definitely, I take it that you are one who wants to create stuff, or you are a creative, or you're an artist, or you're a professional, doctor, lawyer, whatever have you. You guys are building your thing. So. Whether you do podcasting, you still need a website. You still need something to do blogs so people can be able to to get to your, you know, access your, your podcast or your, your videos or whatever have you. So you're going to need a web page, a website. You need something. But when we say website, as we as you know in this course, stuff, other stuff we teach, I'm not for just putting up a web page or website and just, you know, for like a brochure. We are talking about making money, right? We are talking about you collecting payment. So your website is a marketing tool. If it's just there as a brochure that everyone can read, that's not. I'm not talking about that. We talking. That's why we give you certain tools, and we spoke about some tools last week, because these tools are to help you make money with your website. Because what good is it just to put up a website? just for fun if that's what you want to do cool but we are here we're talking about monetize your skills we want you to be able to have a platform that you can create revenue now after that when you begin creating some revenue you can do all the free stuff that you want to do but nonetheless i mean there's hosting fees you got to pay you paid for your website name you paid for all these different things some people are going to pay for their designing of a website so you have to be able to make your monies back, right? So that's why we're trying to get you to do some more strategic website building. So here are all um, some of the top tools that you can use to build your website or your e-commerce store. Notice the difference, right? Here we go. So there are many, many options, okay? Let me start with the top two big ones that most people are using. The fastest way pretty much to build your website based on what you see here would be WordPress or Wix. Okay. Now, you can also have a combination of these tools, Okay, as I'm going to explain. So if you want, just want to build a website or build one page to represent, if you're a coach, sometimes you don't need a whole lot of pages. You might need one or two pages. You don't need a full website. 
because sometimes a full website can be distracted. It's all based on your purpose. All right. So, optimize press, culture, click funnels. These here on the left are all tools that help you to create all types of pages, beautiful design, and whatnot based on like templates. Okay. The good thing about Wix and um, and WordPress, which personally, again. It's all based on what you love and what you are going to use, all right? I'm not a Wix guy. I don't like Wix. I've edited one or two people's website before with Wix. I don't really like Wix. WordPress is, I'm cool with WordPress because I use WordPress. And all of my websites today, even though I have a mixture of some of these other tools, I still have WordPress. So Strategic Secrets is on WordPress. Monetize Your Skills is on WordPress. But I use other tools to build them, okay? So the good thing about WordPress, again, you can go to wordpress.org. And the good thing is this, it has so many templates to create your website. So in other words, you're gonna, when, you, when you install uh, WordPress on your domain, it's going to give you the option to say, okay, here are so many different themes. You want a theme for blogging. You want a theme for e-commerce. You want a theme for um, like a magazine or newspaper kind of layout. You pick one of those themes, and all you're going to do is edit the templates. You're going to edit it to make it look like you. You're going to brand the colors. You're going to change around a little bit of formatting. So that's, so like I said, I do all of these things. It's not. It's really not that difficult. It's easy for me to say some people say, speak for yourself. But really, it's not that difficult. I, like I said, today I still edit my own websites. I design my own websites. I do all of that, and I use WordPress with these other tools because they're very simple. Um WordPress again has all these other tools and plugins. For example, uh, installing Facebook tracking on your web page. All you got to do is install one plugin and it automatically puts the Facebook pixel on all your pages where you don't have to manually go do that. Now, there's a downside to WordPress and I, and I suppose Wix as well. The downside is that because you are using so many other tools with WordPress, these tools always need to be upgraded and updated. And I would say if you do use it, go ahead and make them automatic as much as possible because when WordPress itself upgrades to a new, um, you know, a, a new rollout, a new model, what's going to happen is, you know, the reason they do this too is because of hacks and security issues with the previous version. So normally they roll out a new version. Like right now, I think as of today, we are on WordPress 5.0. That's their latest version. But they're going to roll out 5.1, 5.2, 5.0, whatever as we go along. And the problem is if you don't upgrade, your site is, 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 is more hackable or your site is a security issue. Uh, the second problem, like we said, based on the plugins that you're using to run the website, they might be updated. The company might stop, um, might stop producing or stop updating that particular thing that you need to run the, run, run the website. I had a problem with this not too long ago, actually, with my email marketing service. Um, so the email marketing service did not upgrade, upgrade in time to the most current WordPress um, rollout. And what happened is, you know, it messed up my site, right? My site just went white. Like everything, it just pulled up this site. It wasn't down technically. It was just like blanked out. So when I called Bluehost to inquire what's going on and so forth, you know, they had to deactivate uh, that plugin, my email marketing service plugin, and then voila the site was back up so i had to wait now until that company updated their you know their plugin so that it can work with the new model of wordpress okay so that's what that's all about so again remember wordpress is just a, it's a tool it's an open software type of thing that allows you to build websites using different templates and you can just ask anybody to build a template most the vast majority of them are free like they i mean there are hundreds maybe even thousands of uh, WordPress themes that you can use and build your website. There's some that are paid very cheap, less than 50 bucks. You can get a nice uh, um, WordPress stuff. But also, WordPress can be used for your e commerce as well. For example, you can plug in, uh, as we see here, the WooCommerce theme. That's the theme that you plug in to so that you can build your e commerce store. Then we also have um, where, for example, if you use Michael Hyatt's get notice theme this is very powerful michael hyatt before he transitioned to his current you know magazine style blog he was he created his own theme that thousands of professionals have been using to create their site 
And so I recommend that one too. It's called Get Noticed, Noticed Theme, and it works with WordPress. So Get Noticed Theme, and it's by Michael Hyatt. So if you get that, it works very well. You can create some very beautiful layout for your blogs with uh, Word, uh, WordPress. So again, Wix is another good option. Wix is, again, many people use it. I don't like it. It's too boxy for me, but uh, but it's okay. It has a, I have, again, um, one of our students in here is on Wix, and so it's okay. Mike Wilson, who trained two or three weeks ago with us, he's a Wix guy, and so I have no issue with it. It's just whichever one works for you. I just personally can't use it myself, so I don't really like it, right? So I would say, so go with Wix. Now, if you are trying to do this, so I'm giving you the basics, but I, but this is the key now because I'm telling you, your website makes the difference. So I'm going to give you now the big dogs, okay? These ones, these are the tools are the big dogs that you need to build your website. So again, you can pretty much do free with, with WordPress and Wix and so forth and WooCommerce. Those are free. Now, if you want to get up a little bit above that now, you have to do some of the paid versions. So Shopify. Shopify is for building your e-commerce store, right? Everybody knows Shopify, okay? But to use Shopify's advanced features, it is going to cost you more. So the basics is not a lot of money. But when you try to put all of the big guns into Shopify, you're going to look at $2.99 plus a month. That's a lot of money. But like I said, if you are selling a lot of stuff online, as most people do, there are several people making six and seven figures with their Shopify store. Case in point, we brought, um, who is it? We brought Aaron Delizensky on a couple of weeks ago. And he his store, he's, he's on Shopify as well. But he uses another uh, software in conjunction with this. So this is what I'm telling you. So sometimes you may have, like I said, a, you're building your website with one tool, but it needs another tool to make it run efficiently. So, okay, so on this page, what you're looking at here, you can build your e-commerce store, okay? You're selling a lot of small items and whatnot. Okay, like think about a regular store or Amazon. That's that's e-commerce, right? Your regular website where you're doing your blogs or you're doing coaching, consulting. That's different from uh, Shopify uh, or your e-commerce type of thing. So you're gonna need Shopify, WordPress, or WooCommerce or any other tool like that to be able to build an e-commerce store. The new kid on the block, however, I'm gonna talk about this some more. Is GrooveCart, right? Groove GrooveCart is brand new, and trust me. I think that's the guy that's going to replace Shopify. It's powerful. Now, if you want to just build um, pages, website pages, or create simple stuff very quickly, then I recommend to you either Optimize Press, Kartra, and ClickFunnels. These are the bad boys of creating landing pages and funnels. Now, let me tell you a little bit about each. Optimize Press. Again, I use Optimize Press and it works again very well. It's, it's a plugin for WordPress, okay? So Optimize Press allows you to create landing pages, sales pages, I mean, all beautiful templates and so forth. It's wonderful. Like, you don't need graphic designers when you have these three Optimize Press, Culture, and ClickFunnels. Like, they are so beautiful. You can use them. They, I mean, all you're doing is change up the picture here. If, if you, let's say, for example, you wrote a book. And you want to have a nice page for your book, you're going to go in there and you're going to find the web page that is for selling books. So you say create a sales page, look for the one with the book on there. So now they're going to say, here's the picture of the book. You put your book there. You replace that book. Here is the, you know, a, a testimonial. You're going to change the person's page, um, face and also the message. And then it might say something like, uh, oh, change the colors to your brand. So let's say their theme has orange and green you might want to put blue and, and white on yours and you're just going to change those very very simple so optimize press i've been using optimize press again right now for over five years maybe going in six years so optimize press i love it and by the way all my websites currently now also are with optimize press so i use them to create landing pages where it's no distraction from the website so when you see some of my sales pages, like right now, when you go to monetizerskills.com, that page was created using Optimize Press. Okay, when you when you go to most anything that you have probably bought from me so far, okay, I'm gonna tell you about Culture because that's the new one I'm using. But Optimize Press is cheap. Also, I think it's like ninety-seven dollars. I wanna say I think it's about ninety-seven dollars. But you know you have different options. But it gives you ten licenses 
to work on 10 different websites. Most people don't have 10 websites. So this will serve you very well. So if you get the free version of, if you get WordPress and you get Optimized Press, bam, you can build a website right there. Okay, and you have all the capabilities of looking online. Okay, so don't worry about it. Click funnels now. Click funnels is more robust. Like when you talk funnels, remember that that's the key thing. You hear it all over the place now. What is a funnel? A funnel is pretty much a sequence of selling online. So you're going to create one page for attracting the person, maybe getting their email on the next page. You are selling them, you know, your ebook and then on the next page you're selling them a coaching program and it's all connected as one sequence so that's what we call automated sequence so the two best tools for that are Kartra and ClickFunnels now again it all depends on who you are again and, and how much you want to afford but again if you need the most robust the most robust out of everything that's on this page right now is Kartra and ClickFunnels any one of them will do you well Okay, so what are my top two? That's why it's hard to pick. Because honestly, everything on this page will work. Except I don't do Wix and I don't do Shopify, right? But I, I have, for example, on Strategic Secrets, I have a version of WooCommerce that's installed. I don't really use it because, again, you know, Strategic Secrets is not really a work, uh, an e-commerce type of site. Though I sell small items. But, you know, I would rather send people to... Um, like for now, I send people to Amazon for most of my books and, you know, my optimized press does most of the selling. So I really don't use the WooCommerce theme that much, but it is installed on my WordPress site. And um, the new thing I'm going to be using now instead of Shopify is actually GrooveCart. OK, so that's a tough one. Um, I hope that it makes sense to you. Like I said, to boil it down to two is kind of tough, but I need to give you what are my top two recommendations all right now if you want three <laughs> i must pick two okay but if you want three i'll say go with the three on the left optimize press culture click funnels okay if you can afford them all but there's no need to afford them all because each of them i mean those two bad boys at the bottom culture and click funnels i mean they they dominate and do everything that all these other ones does okay so let's go with this now what are my two options well if you're going to be building specifically a website or a blog or you want to sell your coaching courses, books and so forth. I'm not talking about a lot of um, a, a lot of items like for e-commerce. I'm going to rep so what I'm giving you here my two options. One option is for building your website, your blog, um, your coaching site, anything along those lines. And the next one is going to be for if you want to build an e-commerce store where you want to sell a lot of items. You're selling t-shirts, you're selling hats, you're selling, you know, if you have a lot of small items to sell, then that's what I'm going to recommend next. But suffice to say, after going through all of these, honestly, it's really a tough picking one. But I must go with Kartra because Kartra is an all-in-one marketing platform all in one place. Here's what I'm going to tell you about it. So Kartra now, I've been using now, I got onto this actually about, I think, four or five months now I've been using Kartra. And if you registered for this webinar, the sales, the page that you use to opt in is was made via Kartra. I am actually now migrating all of my stuff over to this platform. The beautiful thing about it is just what it says. It's all in one. So remember, in order to run your regular stuff with WordPress, here's what I have to do. So I have WordPress running my, that's the engine that runs everything. But then I have uh, Optimized Press to build the pages. If you wanted an e-commerce capability, you got to now install the WooCommerce. Then when all of that is good, what if someone opt-ins my page? Then I need to plug in an email service provider, which is another company. If I need to have videos, then, of course, you're going to have to merge those from either uh, Vimeo paid version or free version um, YouTube. But YouTube is not always the best when it comes to online courses because people just click on the link and they might go over to where you don't want them to go. But so that's it. So what happens here is you have to log into so many different things, which is OK, because that's how most people have been doing it. But I praise God for Kartra because Kartra solves a problem for people like me. I hate logging into several different things. I want it all in one place. So here's what I'm telling you now. So with Kartra, 
Kartra does your email marketing. You don't need to go and get another email marketing services, which I did a training on that before. So in other words, you don't need your MailChimp. You don't need GetResponse. You don't need SendLane. So that saves you money. Not only that, but storing your videos. Now, if you store videos for free on YouTube, you can do that. But you need to be able to lock your videos sometimes, which you need the paid version of like Vimeo or Wistia. Right, I use Vimeo, but that's a paid version as well. Now with Kartra, I can host all my videos in Kartra. And they have way more features where, for example, if somebody only watch a certain percentage of your video, you can you know, tag them. Or if uh, at the end of a video, you can be able to put up so many more different options than you can with YouTube or Vimeo. But again, now I don't need Vimeo. So at the end of, you know, pretty soon, once these, um, one, so by the end of this month, I would have everything done with Kartra. So next year, whenever the, you know, my service or contract is up with all these other companies, I'm going to stop, you know, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to renew them. So I, I would no longer need a whole lot of different platforms, right? So some you may, you know, like I say, you're transitioning, so you may have to keep some. So like right now, I already stopped using SendLane, which I love. Honestly, SendLane is beautiful. I'm still using GetResponse. I thought I, I was going to cancel it, but then I forgot, and it automatically renewed. So I had to wait another year because it pays for the whole year, and I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, calling them and, you know, trying to get a, a you know, prorate or whatever. So you know, in September is when that one expires. So it's not a whole lot anyway. So I can deal with that. But now I don't have to pay for email marketing service. I don't have to pay for video hosting. I don't have to pay for automation tools, this and that and so forth. Everything is all in culture. It's in one place. And it's the best and perfect thing for funnels and for automation. So right now, you guys are going to see in the next, probably by next Thursday, hopefully. By next Thursday, when we do this webinar, you will be able to see a brand new strategic secrets website and it's going to be on culture. So this one, actually, I have someone that's designing everything for me now. So most of the other ones I do them myself and you can build those, these pages as well. But like I said, I'm, I'm rebuilding the whole thing from the ground up. So that will take too much time. But to create one simple page, for example, like creating the, the webinar page for you guys to register here, that didn't take me probably that five minutes three to five minutes maybe to put that page together like i said you guys can do it all the templates are there you just pick bam 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 okay so if you guys want a trial version actually you can go to monetize your skills.com slash culture monetize your skills.com slash culture and as a student of our community or someone in our community you'll be able to do a 14-day trial okay so just you go to this link and it will it will send you there for the trial and what you will do there is like I said try it out for 14 days see if you like it and uh, not only that but the good thing about culture is we have a private community on Facebook of thousands of members so if you have any questions trust me you go in there you'll get your answers solved okay I, I've used it several times and I've gone there to learn other things from other people uh, being post uh, posting their stuff there already so that's it if you want to create a website a blogging platform if you want to create a funnel, sales funnel, automation, email marketing, video hosting. I mean, what else can you think about? You know, one-click upsells, continuous stuff. I mean, it's all here with Kartra, okay? And it's way more cost-effective than ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels and this does similar jobs, but this one is more, again, all-in-one. ClickFunnels, you know, to get all the more advanced features, you got to buy, you keep adding on. That's the only thing I don't like with ClickFunnels. So this is the winner from that vantage point. Price and, again, everything in one. So Kartra, it doesn't matter if you if you have a starter version or diamond version, whatever. Everybody have the same pretty much feature. The only difference is how many people you have on your email list, and that's really the difference. So you want to have all the features that somebody, let's say, who is doing millions of dollars online and have a hundred thousand people on their list, you want to have the same capabilities as they would using Contra, right? So this is the beautiful thing. So again, you only pay for extra for the size of your stuff. But if it's just basic, if you have a few, um, you know, a few hundreds, I think up to twenty five hundred, it's very cheap. It's less than a hundred dollars a month. And you're good to go. But again, think about that. You're going to save so much because if you're doing email marketing, you got to pay based on your email list size. If you're doing video hosting, you got to pay for that. 
If you're doing funnel somewhere else, you got to pay for that. And so it's just all over the place. This is the big boy or the big gal, depending on what you want. This right here is all you would need for everything online. Okay, now, the and next one, my, so this is my top option for creating, again, your websites, your, 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 your pages, your funnels, everything like that. This is my recommendation. Now, what about if you want to create e-commerce now? You want to do like an Amazon where you, you have T-shirts, you have all these little knickknacks that you sell in a lot of this stuff. Uh, you want to actually have a store, not a regular website, blog, but an online store. Then I recommend my option again would be GrooveCart. GrooveCart is very powerful. Not only that, GrooveCart, you got to go here. I need you guys to go on there. Go to monetizerskills.com slash GrooveCart, right? And watch the video presentation there. I mean, GrooveCart allows you to be able to do um, branding. Let's say you can even create like shoes, your own stuff. You can create t shirt all in that platform too. This is the reason why I'm also, um, you know, I'm in love with this one because I like when things are hosted one place. I don't like going all over the place. But again, this one is what culture is for online, regular online and funnels and all of that, which you can, if you have now the e-commerce capabilities, this can do funnels too for the e-commerce, okay? Remember, those are two different modes of operation. So, so again, if you want to have, let's say you want to have health products, okay? You know, with GrooveCart, you can have health products that you don't make, you don't create, all you got to do is slap your brand or label or design on the uh, on it. So that's it. So think of it, right? Like, let's say I have uh, water right here, right? This one is Kirkland, right? Using GrooveCart, if you for let's and, and okay, let's just say it was a vitamin product, then you will slap your thing on there. So we can say strategic secrets. All I gotta do is put my logo on there. And now when you buy this, the company ships it. I collect the payment, and now and you get the product. Okay, and the people I pay the people, but I don't even own the product. You can do it for shoes, you can do it for t-shirts, you can do it for all of that stuff. It's beautiful. Again, you guys gotta go check it out for yourself. So here's the thing. GrooveCart, again, is a wonderful option for those who are doing e-commerce. For our students here, again, we have, because they closed this thing out. They don't allow everybody to get it. They started a, a beta testing version a few months ago. Um, even myself didn't get in at that time, but now I'm in. I'm using this here actually to build an e-commerce site for my son. That's his gift, right? His birthday is coming up in about two and a half weeks. And so my gift to him is a website where he now is going to be able to create his own product. So instead of wearing everybody else's t-shirt, we're going to create t-shirts and clothes in line for him. Uh, we're going to be able to um, do children books. Okay. It's not here. I forgot where did I put it. So we already ordered two kits, for example, from Lulu so that we can create um, two books for him. So that, those will be his first product, books and then T-shirts. So that's kind of why I'm also recommending this. I really think this is the best option. Right now on the market, it's better than Shopify. So again, Shopify and this, those are the two big guns. But if you really want something that is more cost effective, one cost, like I said, most of the advanced features in Shopify will run you $2.99 plus a month. Okay? GrooveCart, trust me, you ain't got to worry about that. With all of the advanced features and more that Shopify has, you can get it in here for less than $50 a month, okay? So this is the tool that I would recommend for e-commerce, for our community. This is the thing that you really need right here. It has all the power, beautiful, beautiful design templates. You can, again, do it all of yourself. It makes your store look kind of like on the level of uh, Apple, right? That's how good their stuff is. They do a whole lot of other stuff that most e-commerce stores um, do not do. So those are it. I think that's about it. Okay, we've been going on for a while here. Let's see if we have anything else. Okay, so there we go, Q&A. So we covered quite a few things. Let me do a quick recap. If you're going to get online, you've now learned about monetizing your skills. You went through our modules for the course. You figure out now you want to be able to get online. First, you have to decide what's your business model or your ministry model. Are you going to start a blog, a podcast, a, a, a live streaming or coaching webinar, whatever have you. If you're an author, you know, you need an author page. If you're a speaker, you need a speaker page. So you have to have somewhere online to be able to do that. 
Now, you're going to need your domain name. Come up with the name of your stuff. Then we recommend at least six different places or so where you can go get your name. Again, I recommend Bluehost or HostGator. You go there, you can get both hosted and your domain name together. Monetizeyourskills.com slash Bluehost. Monetizeyourskills.com slash HostGator. Any one of those. Then, if you want to accept payments because you have to get paid online somehow, right? You don't need to be a bank. You can use Stripe. You can use PayPal, stripe.com, paypal.com, and just integrate those into your website. Next, you need to actually build the website. You don't have to go pay thousands and thousands of dollars. I've done that. My first, first website, I had someone um, do my first Strategic Secrets website when we first revealed that one when I first started. I paid someone $700 to build that website. And after a few months, I realized it was a waste of time because there's so many things. Now I learned, you know, WordPress. I was able to just be able to edit and do things myself. Okay. So with that, you can use WordPress. You can use uh, Wix as well. Those are the two main things if you just want to throw up your website quick. If you want some big gun tools that would allow you to do all of the whiz bang stuff that you see myself doing, that you see, you know, all the top online marketers use, then you're going to need to consider Optimize Press. Kartra, which is the number one that I recommend, monetizeskills.com slash Kartra, K-A-R-T-R-A, or ClickFunnels, okay? I have a link also there for ClickFunnels if you do want to use that, but just go to ClickFunnels.com for now. But uh, but if you want a special, then send me a message, chance at monetizeskills.com. We can get your specials on the ClickFunnels. But I think Kartra is the key thing because I'm using Kartra right now, okay? I had ClickFunnels for a little while. And like I said, culture to me wins it, wins it. So I'm giving you the ones I think is the best one. But again, whatever, it works for you though, okay? I'm just giving you my recommendation as an expert on what I use, but it's all up to you. Any one of those that you use is actually fine, all right? Now, for those who are going to be using e-commerce, um, you, you know, let's say again, you have a lot of products, you're a doctor, a lawyer, whatever have you, you have a lot of books and so forth, or you're an artist at home, mom, you do baking, you have cookbooks and remedies, all these different things you want to sell. If you have multiple things you want to sell online, then you need an e-commerce store, not a regular blog and others. Although you can use both, you know, you can create content on a blog or a podcast and drive traffic to your e-commerce store if you want to do that, fine. But you don't have to. That's a lot of work. Just use something like Facebook, Twitter, and those kind of things to post your content and send people to your store. That's That'll be the easier way. Okay, so there you have it. So if you want to do an online store, an e-commerce store, then I recommend the new kid on the block, which is having rave reviews and a whole lot of people are switching over from Shopify. Go with Groovecart, okay? So again, if you want a special on that, we have a $500 off coupon for that that will give it to you. All those admin features, all in one, you don't have to pay for no upgrades, you know, all in one for less than 50 bucks a month, all right? Puts Shopify to shame with that. So again, go to monetizeyourskills.com slash Groovecart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I've been helpful to you. I cannot answer many questions tonight, but if you do have questions, go to chance at monetizeyourskills.com, send me an email, and I'll be able to respond. Actually, next week will be all Q&A, okay? Next week, we're going to do all Q&A. We only have two more, two more webinars for this um, year, so make sure, please, you guys uh, got to go and put that on your calendar now every Thursday, even in the new year, but we have two more for this year. And so on the next one, what we're going to be doing, if you have questions, we're going to just do all Q&A for the next um, webinar. Or any question that you have about creating products, getting online, any kind of strategies that have to do with that stuff, coaching, uh, speaking, uh, book publishing, uh, what else, you know, create an online course, uh, webinars, whatever have you. Okay, join me on next week. But if you want in advance, send your emails so I can also begin to, um, you know, prep those questions for next week. And the last week, what we're going to do is the last, last one leading up to the new year, which I think is the 27th. What we're going to do on that one, I'm actually going to pick one of our students in our community and we're going to help them build whatever it is you want to build. So if you are whatever you're working on at the moment, we're going to bring you on live. We're going to do something where other people are there. And uh, if you want us to help you uh, with your website, you can actually create it in the hour that we have. Or if you want us to be able to outline your book, 
we can do that. Outline your course, we can do that. Uh, coaching, if you if you want to figure out how do you set up your, you know, describe who your ideal client is, we're going to pick one person or maybe two, depending if, if we get it all done fast, but we only have an hour. So one for now, two maybe, we can do 30 minutes a piece. Uh, we will be able to select you. But remember, you got to be in our Monetizer Skills Academy. So if you are here by chance and you are not in Monetizer Skills Academy, I want you to go to monetizerskills.com slash enroll and enroll. Okay, join this community. We have more goodies inside. We teach you how to take your education, expertise, and experiences and be able to create products, programs, and services online. For those who want to write and publish a book, turn that into a business. Go to monetizerskills.com slash book to business. All right. So this link here, I didn't uh, mention this one, but um, last week, this is what we covered last week. We spoke about what tools you need for recording your videos and all of that, mics and all these different things that you need. You can go to strategicsecrets.com slash learning store. All right. Learning dash store. That's where we have all the tools in one place if you wanted a review. Alrighty, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to see you guys next Thursday at 7 p.m. Please put this on your calendar so you can show up every single Thursday without fail for these private membership training where we are giving you a whole lot of goodies and teaching you what you need to do, know to be able to monetize your skills online. And the reason we do this again, let's remember, this community is all about helping professionals and entrepreneurs, ministry leaders, to be able to monetize their skills. Meaning, take your education, expertise, and experiences, turn them into products, programs, and services, so you can create extra revenue, so you can fund the things that mean the most to you. Whether you want to give more to charity, your church, or create a nonprofit, or anything along those lines, do humanitarian work, just like Faithful Park is doing. If you want to do something like that, last week I was wearing someone else's um, shirt, you know, and so. If you have a shirt, we are a community. We help each other out here. So this is one way. If you are part of this community, we help other people to follow you as well by doing stuff like this. So today we are um, giving a shout out to Faithful Path International. They're doing a lot of good around the world, humanitarian service. So again, it's not just about money. It's about what you can do to make an impact, to help people, to bless the world. And that's what they're doing. Check them out, Faithful Path International. That org. Again, that's all for today. Please do yourself a favor and take action so we can monetize your skills. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.